Hey hello guys, it's Delta 49 er here with a tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.6.2. Now you're going to need either 7-Zip or WinRAR to install this mod, and links to both of those are in the description. And I will be using 7-Zip, but both are free, both are easy to use, and both are fairly similar. So just pick the one you like. Now you want to go into your web browser and go to the Optifine forum thread, which will be linked in the description and you want to find the version of Optifine that is updated for your version of Minecraft. Now if there are multiple, there are multiple different editions of Optifine, but for right now, as of this tutorial, the only one that is updated for 1.6.2 is the preview, and that will soon move down here to the main versions, uh, just depending on when you're watching this tutorial. Uh, so what you want to do is when you find the version that you want that is updated for your version of Minecraft, you want to click the download link. Uh, now as of this tutorial also, the download link is down, so I'm going to click the mirror. And just wait for uh, the download to show up. And then you can click the download Optifine link here. And save it on your desktop. And then you can minimize that. and you'll see I have the Optifine folder here. Now you want to right click it and click Extract All. Make sure Show Extracted Files When Complete is checked and click Extract. And then just keep that off to the side. Now you want to go to your keyboard and type Windows key R, uh, so it'll bring up this run command, and then type in percent %APPDATA% percent, which is percent app data percent. Click OK. Find your .minecraft folder, go into your versions folder, and find the 1.6.2 folder or whatever version of Minecraft you're installing it for, and copy that folder and just paste it right here. Now you want to rename the folder to something like 1.6.2 Optifine or 1.6.2 Modded or something along those lines, and then go into the folder and make sure you change all of these files to the exact same name you changed the folder to, so uh, 1.6.2 Optifine, and then 1.6.2 Optifine.json, and then go into the JSON file. The JSON file can be opened in Notepad, so you want to go to your Start menu and open up Notepad, and then go to File, Open, and go to your .minecraft folder, which is in your Users folder, your App Data folder, your Roaming folder, and then .minecraft. Go to Versions, go to the folder you just created, and then make sure you check the all files box here and then you can click on the JSON file and open it and where it says ID there's a little bit of a, a version info area here and what you want to do is you want to change that to the name of what you uh, named it on these files on the folder make sure it's exactly the same you can copy that from there and just make sure it's exactly the same uh, and then just save the file, control S, or you can go file save and close that file there. Now you want to go into the 1.6.2 Optifine jar and open it with 7-zip if you have 7-zip or WinRAR. It'll be on this main menu and open it there. If you don't have either of those options, if you have 7-zip in your computer, type 7-zip in your start menu. And if you have WinRAR, type WinRAR and open the program manually. And then uh, what you can do is same thing, go from your users folder to app data, roaming, dot minecraft, versions, the version that you just created, the uh, jar you just created, I mean. Then go into the jar, and you'll see you're in the jar. That's just a second way to do it if you don't have the right click option. And now you want to delete the meta inf folder and bring up your Optifine files, control A, and select them all and just drag them in, and then click yes and you have installed Optifine. Now let's go into the Minecraft launcher to see if it works and make sure you have the new jar selected. You can change that by going to Edit Profile and changing the jar here and it's on Release 1.6.2 Optifine and it should say that up here. Hit Play. Go into your Options, Video Settings and you should have a ton more video settings which you can use to optimize your Minecraft so it runs better or it looks better depending on what kind of computer you have or what you want out of Optifine. And that is really it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or you had an issue, you can leave that in the comments below. I'll be glad to help. 
And if you did enjoy this, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.